nationally acclaimed artists are in Jacksonville this weekend showing off their artwork and helping out an art project at UNF as well as a local hospital. Uh, one of the artists known for his eye-popping 3D creations, the other is often referred to as the rock star of the art world. And joining me this morning, Michael Goddard and Charles Fazzino. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here, guys. Thank you. This is a lot of fun, and you have redecorated our set. You have brought yeah, in some great. beautiful <laughs> artwork, and, and, and we just love having it here, love having you here. So you guys are over at R. Roberts Gallery in Avondale. We are. You were there yesterday and today. Yeah. Uh, tell me, why are you here? Why are you here? Um, it's part of that witness protection program, <laughs> uh, serving the community in Jacksonville. No, you know, we, this just uh, we've had uh, we've got a lot of clients that are out here in Jacksonville, so it's really fun to visit and um, just to share our artwork with everyone. So it's really fun. It's and we we fun. also noticed that we share a lot of the same um, clients and, and collectors. Is they that both, right? Yeah, when you're into whimsical and fun work, well, you know, work work that you know that uh, speaks to people, makes you happy. And we Attention goes to both parts. Whimsy and whimsical, good, good words to describe your work. Yeah. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of uh, some of what you guys do. Uh, Michael, you have a lot of um, drinking involved with your. Which is obviously why I'm popular here in Jackson. Is that right? Okay, very good. But, you, uh, but I gotta say, you don't drink. No, I don't drink. It's funny because once in a while we'll send a send a painting to a gallery and they'll say, uh, Mr. Goddard, it's actually a salt shaker that goes with that margarita, <laughs> not, not sugar shaker. So, yeah. uh, a lot of people have, have come out yesterday. They came out to the gallery to check things out when you were there, uh, a meet the artist kind of event. And you can uh, meet them today as well. But uh, you, uh, Michael, have been on all kinds of television shows. I mean, if, if folks, you think he looks familiar at home, there's a good reason why. You've been sprinkled all over TV lately. And the milk cartons. Oh, yes, is that, is that right? Yes, okay. Absolutely. Witness protection program, not doing a whole lot of good no, for you. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> it's not. We're just bringing a little extra sunshine to Jacksonville. Well, you've got some great work. Uh, Charles, let's talk about yours because uh, you worked with kids yesterday, but your work is known for the Olympics. You've been with um, Super Bowl for 10 years. Yes. Uh, yeah. and, and some outstanding work. A lot of it 3D. Is all of it 3D? Uh, everything I do is 3D, even the helmets. Uh, I do baseballs, uh, uh, painting guitars for jazz festivals. Everything I do is three-dimensional. They're cut out, they're either painted or they're hand silk screened. They're in limited editions or they're one of a kind. And R. Roberts is going to be carrying the whole collection even after the show. But the main focus and most of all the fabulous collection, you have to come down today to see it. Because it's only here, this collection of both of us. Today. Well, you know, I was I was there at the gallery yesterday, and I thought for sure that helmet was going to go during the uh, meet and greet the artists reception, and you still have it. So, yeah. what's the deal? Well, uh, you know, it, it's uh, it's a lot of work, and it's for a lot of people a lot of money. But yeah. it is uh, it's it's a piece that goes in a plexiglass box, and it's something that you know people have to think about. I'm from New York City. People make decisions like that in New York. Jacksonville, they need a day or two. <laughs> that's exactly right. That's a, that's a good way of describing it. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming in. I, I wonder if I can give a little bit of a secret away. I don't know how much of a secret it is. But yesterday, we were able to actually see, uh, see Michael's work and how he put it together because he worked with some of the kids putting together uh, a piece of work. And um, uh, uh, Charles, I'm sorry. I said Michael. But Charles. And so the epoxy you use to make everything Yes. It looks like, I'm sorry, a soft serve ice cream cone it does. that you then put the pieces of artwork on top of. And as I'm working with the kids for all these projects, that's exactly it, uh, how I try to describe how to use it. I try oh. to teach them how to use the art materials. You know, in schools today, uh, they're not getting enough art. I think it's really important in community based that kids come out, work with artists like us, and um, learn and hopefully become artists. It's something that's. Uh, a viable career and uh, something that really warms your heart. Well, oh, very, very nice. Guys, thanks so much for coming Thank in. You. I know it is early, and you uh, had a late night yesterday, and then you're going to do it again today. <laughs> yeah, so one to four. Good. Have fun. Yeah. Have fun. Thanks so much. All right, thank Michael you. Charles, we appreciate it. Okay. okay, well, you can meet both of the artists, as we said, and check out the work at a reception this afternoon. So here are the details. It is at the R. Roberts Gallery in Avondale, and it runs from 1 to 4 p.m. They are a lot of fun. you got to go out there and check it out. Let's check out the weather now, because it is not going to be as beautiful as yesterday, but uh, Mark, how's it shaping up? Well, it's starting to 